Hey everybody, Chris the Cop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. All right, we have a little SWAT tutorial and I kind of wanted to just give you, well, a SWAT tutorial. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All right, you read it right. I'm going to talk some SWAT stuff using door kickers, as I think door kickers is probably the best way to talk about some of the things that I utilize in playing Ready or Not, right? Kind of weird. Why not just reuse Ready or Not? Well, it's because it's really kind of hard to explain in Ready or Not when we start talking about crisscross, button hook, as well as the sides of buildings, how we refer to them as one, two, three, four. So I just kind of wanted to make this short video and talk about some of those things as we talk about more SWAT stuff on this channel to just give you that perspective of my 22 years of being on SWAT, being a SWAT commander for the last six years, and just kind of going what the shortcomings of are on Ready or Not, as well as, you know, just kind of bringing, and, and the good stuff with Ready or Not, and just kind of bringing all that stuff together. All right, before we jump into that, on the business side of this, there's a lot of information down in the description below as far as our social media, our Discord. For those of you that are new to the channel, you're able to co-op with me every other week. We play SWAT 4 or Ready or Not, and we're looking at some other tactical shooters. We also have a merch store. Eh, it's a couple t-shirts, some stuff like that. But hey, if you want to support some Chris the Cop wear, maybe one day I'll make it big and you'll be like, I had that shirt. Ah, then again, maybe not. Uh, yeah, you could join memberships. You can support this channel by having a channel membership. You get cool icons. And I keep promising that I'm going to do more stuff with memberships, but I have yet to do it. So uh, yeah, that's it. So that's the business side of this. So let's jump into a little door kickers and talking about some SWAT tactics. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Okay, so it's been but a minute since I played this, but I kind of want to talk about some of the things that I talk about in playing Ready or Not. So let's take a look at first building, how we call out building sides. So if this was the front door right here of the residence or of the building that faced the street, we would call this the one corner. So this would be one right here. Over here would be two. We go, we go clockwise, three and four. That's how we give our mission assignments. So you may tell uh, operators, we need you to cover the 3-4 corner. So that would be the 3-4 right here. Number 3-4. This would be the 3-4 corner or the 2-4 corner. I mean the 1-4 corner. So that would be 1 and 4. Okay. That's the way we do it. I heard that people sometimes will use the alphabet, A, B, C, D. Other people will use colors. But for SWAT at least the training that I've had, and I think this is both at uh, Cato, California Association of Tactical Officers, as well as uh, NTOA, National Tactical Officers Association. That's what we have been teaching. That's our doctrine, and that has been like that for uh, quite a few decades, probably since we first established SWAT teams back in the 1970s. So now, I have talked about going into rooms as far as utilizing bucket, button hook, crisscross, and type that type of stuff. So if we look right here, uh, we are set up, you have operator one and operator two, You're, we're set up. So at this point in time, this operator should be coming in and taking this long hallway and stopping to short of that hallway as two walks in. And then at that point in time, they should decide on what they're going to do. So let's do this or we take them right here and, then, and I'm going to have two come in and that way they're right there. And let's do that. Okay, that was a little that was a little long right there, but as you could see, both came in, so both should simultaneously have come in. They would have taken out that. Now, a little too far extended right here, but now this would be a button hook, and then this guy is going to come right here. Now, you don't always have to do that, but we got a lot of unknown, so I want to get this guy coming around same time, just coming around too, so they're both there. And he's covering this long hallway, and he's covering this area. So let's see how that works out. 
So it's going to be like right here. And then this guy is going to come right there. On it. Let's see how that works out. So this is kind of like a semi button hook. Really, this guy has a lead. This guy is going to be essentially playing off his lead. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. That should not have happened. <laughs> so now, we could bring him out. Let's just say this happened. We're going to go right here. On it. And you know, that was my bad. I forgot about the whole pointy thing. So we've got to still clear this. So we're going to have this operator. Oops. Okay. Sorry. We're going to have him go that way. Okay. But we're going to have him pointing down range. On your mark. Okay. Now he has all this room clear. So this operator now will come down here till we get to right there. Now, the problem is we don't have two operators, but at this point in time, I would be doing a button hook. See, problem is we don't have enough coverage, so we're going to try to do this as much as possible and then quickly go over that. Okay, there you go. We're done here. Okay. So... As you can see, I, I got to do... Let's do a scenario where we could do a crisscross and button hook. Kind of gives us the a little bit of what's going on there. So let's take a quick look here. And let's go to see what we could do here. And let's go back. Okay, I'm going to go back to this. So let me see if I could find one that is good. I tried to clear the kill house. I really would like one. Let's see if kicking the door will work for us. Lock and load. Let's do this. Okay. So, I want to bring this guy on this side. Okay. All right. Well, we didn't mean to do that. I got to get him a little bit further out. Okay. And then I'm going to move this guy right here. And this is going to be just giving you an example of the button hook. We could do this scenario crisscross or button hook. So. Oops. All right. Did you hear that? Good job. We're done here. Okay, so that was a button hook. So I wasn't it wasn't really good at the beginning. Uh, if we look at that again, I kind of was screwing up there at the very bottom. I had to, I still have not played this game in about a minute, so I'm kind of getting used to the controls again. So here we go. And what we're going to do there, as you see, is that they're going to both stack. One's going to stack on the left side of the door, and one's going to stack on the right side of the door. And of course, we would have more of a team element. And at that point in time, they go in. It wasn't the cleanest. But that's what a button hook would look like. So now let's let's try a crisscross. Lock and load. Okay. Let's do this. So I forget how you clear. All right. Let's right click. Okay. So we're gonna get this guy on this side. On it. Okay. And him right there. All right. So we're gonna do a crisscross. So now this guy, oops, will go here, crisscrossing. He'll see everything and he'll be responsible for all that. He will crisscross. Roger. And be responsible for all that, including that deep corner. I don't like this guy doing that, so I'm gonna redo him. I want those deep corners. 
And hopefully they'll pick up anybody that's right here. So let's see how that looks. Now, we do have the option of throwing a flashbang, and we'll talk about that in just a sec. Good job. We're done here. Okay, so let's watch the replay. Look how they're able to cover all of the bad areas. Lock and load. Let's do so this. let's take a look at that one more time. Oops, I gotta press play, or we're not gonna see anything. On target. Now I'm kinda scared about throwing a flashbang just because it's once again it's been but a minute. Did you see that? Good job. Double coverage, they're able to cover all the threats. Alright, let's try this again with the flashbang. Okay, let's try this. On your mark. Okay. Holding. Moving. On it. Okay. Bang should be out. Crisscross. Following the bang in. And let's move. Good job. We're oh. done here. Okay. Uh, let's watch that. Lock and load. Okay, let's so not the best scenario, but we're going to go ahead. Uh, once again, Chris, let's press play. We're going to put him on the crisscross. Crisscross. Okay. Open door. Bang out. So we see how we're throwing the bang in the corner. That's what I was trying to refer to. We get the bang in the far corners. That's kind of how we uh, will utilize it. Uh, peek real quick. Your bang should already be primed. And so what's going on here is the person who's responsible for the bang already knows they're going to be doing the bang. So the breacher would breach the door. The second guy would come out, throw the bang into that deep corner pocket, taking a quick peek real quick and then tossing it. Because obviously we don't want to throw it someplace that's going to could be like a, you know, like you hear the story about going into a kid's um, uh, crib or, you know, a bed area. So that's what we don't want to do. Throw that in there. Bang blows up. We follow you follow the bang in bang explodes and you go ahead i mean you give it that time to hit boom now we're in and you will hopefully that'll be enough to neutralize or to give the surprise and as you can see it kind of worked out here not the best i got to get back into door kicker so i can you know play this better if i can if i'm going to do tutorials and show you this guys show you this kind of stuff but hey so let me know what you think in the comments down below quick dirty video about calling out the uh, the the house one two three four sides um, how you do a butt hook, how you do a crisscross, and then how you do a crisscross with a flashbang. And next, we'll do some couple of videos on stacking and how that would look by having the room boss and that type of stuff. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this stuff. And this is kind of just showing you some simple two-dimensional tactics for ready or not. All right, everyone, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We can make the world a better place by just helping one person at a time. That could be with a simple smile, a nice comment, or just a nice gesture. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for all the love and support. This is Chris Copper, reminding all of you. Peace.